Let's turn to mortgage rates. I mentioned bond yields today and look at this, 792. We are nearing 8% on the 30-year fixed after a couple of months at 7 plus, And it's hitting homebuilder sentiment. Diana Olick has those details. Diana? Well, Kelly, homebuilder sentiment in October dropped four points to 40. And September read was, dry, was revised down as well. This is the third straight month of declines and the lowest level since January. Anything below 50 is negative. Builders pointed squarely to those higher mortgage rates. And today, as you said, the 30-year fixed hit a cyclical high of 7.92%. That according to Mortgage News Daily. So to get buyers in, 32% of builders reported cutting home prices, the highest rate since last December, and 62% provided provided sales incentives up from 59% in September and tied with the previous high last December. Kelly? So, Bill, listen, it sounds a little bit to, to folks as though the first round of mortgage pressure was bullish for the builders, but maybe this next round starts to result in a more traditional slowdown. I know they're trying to resort to a lot of buy-downs and things that other parts of the real estate market can't do. How is that helping and, and how is that trying to entice buyers? Well, it's just being helping buyers be able to afford homes at these higher interest rates. So about 70 percent of big builder incentives today are mortgage rate buy downs. And that's according to analyst Ivy Zellman. This is when the builder lowers the mortgage rate for the buyer by paying points on the loan. And they can do this for the full length or for a few years. While they've done this on an individual basis in the past, it's nothing compared to what they're doing now. In fact, I spoke with D.R. Horton today, and they said they are doing the full point buy-down for the 30-year life of the loan, and it is not something we've done in previous cycles, at least not on the broad majority basis we're doing so today. Okay, so why haven't we seen this, though, hitting the cost of this, hitting the builder margins yet? Well, interesting, Zellman says it's because they've been able to kind of bury it in the savings they've seen recently from the drop in lumber prices. <laughs> lumber prices are down by a lot. They're unlikely to drop more next year. So Zellman said our general view is that margins are going to be under pressure and start compressing in 2024. But still, builders have to continue to do the buy-downs to stay competitive and to keep volume up, which, of course, keeps their trade costs down. And I'm wondering about regulatory action here. Uh, you know, we spoke last week with one guest who was saying that uh, Fannie and Freddie should start doing something uh, more in the mortgage market to try to reduce that spread. I, I bet we're going to start hearing a lot more proposals from different corners. I think the mortgage bankers and home builders themselves were lobbying uh, Washington already to see more relief on that front. What should we expect? Well, right. They were asking the Fed to at least make it clear how many more times they were going to raise rates and, of course, pushing them not to raise rates to bring down these mortgage rates. But the idea they were also, of course, uh, suggesting there had been some people in the market suggesting Fannie and Freddie should step in and start buying more MBS. That would take an act of Congress. So it would it's, it's a long road ahead to get that done. But again, of course, the industry is pushing to do anything that would lower mortgage rates because obviously it's hitting their bottom line. Yeah, I can't imagine Congress without a speaker right now is going to say, yes, releasing <laughs> Fannie yeah, that's and Freddie a long shot. <laughs> from conservatorship would be our first move. Uh, yeah. Diana, thank you for now. We appreciate it. Diana Olick.